Hello everyone, so this is SDL Shooter, a simple little space shooter game that I created over the past few weeks. Uh, basically got these little alien guys here that you have to shoot. Try not to get killed like I just did. Um, for this enemy right here, they just basically go back and forth. The red ones take three hits to defeat and the green ones just take one. Uh, one new feature that I added to this was an energy bar, so now you can't just like hold the shoot button down if you're using one of the more powerful weapons like I have three weapons added like this try shot right here where you can shoot off in three different directions then like a speed shot which lets you shoot like twice as fast so you can't hold down the fire button anymore but there are these little energy pickups that you can get and that will replenish your energy and also if you, over time your energy just gradually uh, replenishes anyway. Uh, in this level you got a new type of enemy at the top just like a little UFO guy there at the top and just shoots downward at you. Nothing too complex there. Uh, I do have it where all these enemy formations are read out of a text file which is kind of neat so you can create your own levels and things like that. This is just like a little guy kind of goes back and forth in a sine wave and he doesn't shoot at you or anything right now, uh, so you just got to watch out for him. He does take three hits to defeat. And this is another level, which is just kind of like a combination of the enemies in the previous levels. So for a level like this, it's kind of good to use the triple shot. You can really clear out a lot of the enemies all at once. You just got to make sure you don't run out of energy because then you can't shoot at all. So this is like a little bird enemy. I want to have it where these guys shoot at you because right now it's kind of hard to actually uh, get killed by these guys. They just kind of go in circles. So. Yeah, so this is the last enemy that I added. These eyeball guys, so you can't shoot them while they're moving and when they have their eyes closed, but once their eyes pop open, then you can shoot them three times and that, that'll defeat these enemies. So, pretty simple. I don't know if I want to have it if these make these guys shoot at you or not. Uh, I may have these guys like the other enemies where there's two different like levels of the enemy so maybe one just keep this enemy the same and then have another version of it a higher level enemy that moves faster and shoots at you and things like that uh yeah the background is just like kind of like a moon with craters like that um i did all the sprites and asperite most of the enemies just have two sprites for their animations. I don't have any cool particle effects for when you defeat enemies uh, or having something for when your ship explodes so that's something I want to add in, in an upcoming release. I did do all this in C, the C programming language and SDL so it was a good test for me to go back and refresh myself on C. Uh, I did have to like write my own linked list and things like that, which is one th downside to see is like missing a lot of the uh, dynamic data structures that you get in other languages like C Sharp and Java. So yeah, I kind of want to have multiple levels. I'm still trying to think of how I want to have the transition between levels and things like that, but. Right now I give the player all the power-ups, all the weapons starting out, but I'm thinking about making ha having it so that you have to complete different levels in order to get the different uh, power-ups, the different weapons. Yeah, I got some ideas for some of the other weapons, like a kind of like a wave beam and maybe like a charge beam that will let you like shoot through multiple enemies because right now if you shoot an enemy 
then the bullet instantaneously gets destroyed when it hits the enemy. So I think like a charge shot or something like that would be pretty cool. Uh, this game is currently on my website, levidsmith.com, games, sdl-shooter. Go there and it'll take you to all the links of where to go and download this. Currently, there's only a Windows build. You can use the link to my GitHub and download the source code. And there's a make file and everything. So if you have Linux, you can just type make and it should build on Linux as well. So anyway, that's the current status of SDL Shooter. Appreciate everyone watching.